Oh, he goes for the clothesline. Comes up short. Grabbing, oh, oh. Bump in the ring. And if Power bomb ring on the ring apron. Unforgiving ring post. Oh. What up? Welcome back to the Necro Zoo. I am Bones. And in this one, we're going to take a look at the next figure I will be adding to my McFarlane DC Multiverse collection. Now, of course, this time we will be taking a look at the White Knight Batman Red Edition. Now, of course, this is a repaint of the origi originally released Batman from the White Knight series. Now, one thing I really like about these figures is that they jump straight from the pages of the comic. And they're a really cool representation of the characters as they're done in the comic. Now, before we take a look at this figure, I do want to talk about repaints. Because even though I have talked about this before, I still keep hearing people complaining. And one thing I really don't like is complainers. I mean, making smart business decisions and doing things that other companies do just is the way that, you know, the figure market runs. Now, if you would hear a lot of people, the way they talk, on the internet, on YouTube, is that Marvel Legends doesn't do re repaints, or Marvel Legends doesn't reuse parts or bucks. Now, of course, we all know this is not true. All the companies are smart by reusing molds that they already made. It's, it's just the way it is. Now, the good thing about this is that if you don't wanna buy the figure and you don't like repaints, you don't have to buy it. It's as simple as that. It's your money. You could say, I don't want to buy it. I don't, I, it's just a repaint and you don't have to buy it. Now from this White Knight series, we do know that there's going to be another release of the Azrael, the original red one, that's going to be more of a white, uh, I think it's called like Templar or something like the Templar version and it looks pretty cool It is a repaint of the original release, but it does look cool and me as a completist for the DC multiverse line I would get every figure I get two of each and Sometimes I even get three if I'm gonna do custom work or something like that. So It is what it is now also the original release of the armored Azrael there's rumors that we're going to get another paint scheme on that one, which is going to be more reminiscent of the Nightfall Azrael. It's, I mean, I, th this is just rumors, but it, it's pretty much sure that this is what it's going to be like. It's going to have more blues and more yellows. But it'll be a reuse of the mold from before, which is fine for me. I Like I said before, I get a, well, at least one of each release, so it's no big deal for me. Now, another White Knight figure that was released was, was the Jack Napier Joker. And that one did come with an alternate head. You had the, the flesh tone Jack Napier, and then you had the Joker head. Now, of course, I went ahead and did my own custom where I repainted the figure. That way he could have white skin when he was in the Joker form. And another custom that I did from this series of figures was... The Azrael that I added a, a sword scabbard on his back and then I gave him like a assault rifle. From one of the images, it's actually in the comics. So, we are going to get more releases from McFarlane. Buy them if you like them. Don't buy them if you don't. It's as easy as that. I am a completist and I will be buying all of them. But 
this guy looks pretty cool in the package. It wasn't a figure that I really was anticipating, but it is what it is. Let's take a look at him. Now, of course, he does come with his standard black multiverse stand. Not needed, but is helpful sometimes. He also comes with the data fall card. Now, they did change the artwork. Here is the original card that we received with the original release and they are different on the back the only difference is that one says the red edition now people kept saying like I don't know why they chose this color scheme people say it's from the artwork but I don't see it it's right there it's right on the card you could tell the tint from this uh, image from the comics is what they use to get this color on this figure and McFarlane likes to do that. He likes to take just an image, even if it's not a character or like a running theme. He likes that image. He wants to make that figure. He's the boss. We'll add that to the collection. Now, he did come with accessories. The, the same ones that came in the original release, which was this like uh, shot out batarang. And then a rolled up rope with a battering on it, which actually hooks onto his belt. And then he also came with the grapnel gun. Pretty cool. Let's go ahead and take a look at him. Uh, now, this is like, <laughs> this is like another time when I don't really want the figure, but when I get it in my hands, it's just pretty cool. I I'm really happy to add this to the collection, even though this is the first time I'm gonna be like, you know really looking at it looking at the head it has that cool head sculpt now i was always a big fan of this head sculpt but what i didn't like was the the original version had like the pupils drawn in and i never really liked that so i like that this one has the eyes whited out which is pretty cool he does look up uh actually very very high he looks back pretty good he does look down you could tilt his head for some character. Uh, pretty cool, uh, gritty looking uh, Batman head sculpt. Now moving down, he has that like Dracula style you know, collar around his neck. And then he has that big bat emblem that's like stylized. It's like one of the only bat emblems that is done like this. Pretty cool. Now moving down, another thing that I really, really like about the McFarlane figures is the waist articulation he has a lot of rotation you could rock him side to side lean him back lean him forward and then he has a pretty cool twisting where you could get him into some cool stances and poses pretty stocky stocky batman definitely see the muscle maturity going on with this guy pretty cool now moving down let's take a look at the belt a really nice design even though it is the same as the original release just in a more pale cream color uh, not a big fan at that of that little knife because the blade is just way too floppy but I guess that helps if you were to articulate the waist moving down to the legs let's take a look at his thigh swivel now this guy has really a lot of thigh swivel you could pretty much almost almost get it 45 degrees so that's pretty cool looking at the arms he does have that butterfly shoulder joint now surprisingly this was at the beginning of the releases of the McFarlane figures and he does have single jointed elbows so you could only get like a 45 degree angle but it's actually a really nice cut that doesn't break up the sculpt. So, you know, you, you get the good with the bad. Now he does have the wrist ball joint, but it's hidden very well. And then he has like some stylized gauntlets on his wrist and forearms. Pretty cool. Moving down to the legs. Now he does have double jointed knees on those thigh high boots. He does have boot articulation up and down, forward and back. You can rock his foot. Now, this is how the McFarlane 
ankle joints are supposed to work and that is that when you rock it the ball is actually supposed to swivel in the joint now sometimes the figures don't do that but when it does work it's awesome you don't have to actually turn the little ball you could just push the foot and it actually rocks on its own so when it works it's great and then of course he does have toe articulation now let's take a look at him from the bottom not really any tread but has like stylized boots look up the back some pretty nice scope work and then of course the cape is a nice soft plastic and he has some cool texturing and wrinkles in the sculpt pretty nice now let's take a look at the original release and compare them pretty cool just a drastic change in color scheme and like i said before the big difference is the eyes i just really love this like spooky you know um emotionless uh, sculpt from from the painting with the all white eyes compared to the pupils in the first release it's just a personal preference pretty cool now of course like i said before this is from the white knight line you do have the original asriel release and then you have my custom with the assault rifle and the sword chief and then you have the jack napier joker and my repaint where i actually made the skin white and then you do have the armored azrael which we should be getting a re-release of that one anyways guys another thing is been really busy been working a lot of hours and it's been hella hot over 100 degrees uh besides that and working out hitting the gym i haven't had a lot of time to get into the office and and do a lot of customizing and stuff but i did want to get this figure out of the way so i could do my next figure update where i finally picked up some of the newer figures coming out that'll be the next video but finally on sunday we started getting a lot of heavy rain here in el paso uh really beautiful really feels good to finally get some rain and it has been raining pretty much non-stop for it rained non-stop for about two days uh, now it's slowing down a little bit so hopefully tomorrow it clears up uh, but really nice rain I, I i love the rain and it felt good it felt like uh, you know getting washed over by the rain after you know a icky feeling of not having to rain for a long time and really helps the desert out around here where I live so you guys stay safe out there keep hunting keep collecting keep customizing and I will see you on the next one